Hey yo, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. Today I plan on having a vlog up, but there's just no chance because I went out an hour away and I had to shoot some content, take some photos. I came back and by the time I came back, it's now 4.53 p.m. and it takes about three hours for me to upload a vlog. And it takes me about at least three to four hours to edit a vlog. So there's just no way it's gonna get up tonight. So for that reason, I've decided to do my very first Q and A. All right, let's get started. Man, where do you get music for your videos? So I get my music from a site called epidemicsound.com. So I just pay for a subscription to there and you have an access to a massive library worth of copyright free songs. I wanna see your hair, make a one video without cap buddy. I actually have a couple vlogs where I actually don't have my hat on, but this is why. <laughs> it's just cause I don't go through the effort of actually doing up my hair and stuff anymore. So it's just easier if I just wear a cap. Plus I've worn it in so many of my vlogs. It's almost like it's a part of my identity. You know how Casey Neistat has the glasses? The cap is kind of like his glasses to me. Where in Aussie are you at? Anywhere near Sydney? I live in a small country town called Warrigal and that's just about an hour outside Melbourne. So I'm really close to Sydney. Did you go to a photography school or are you self-taught? Completely self-taught. How did you start your photography gig and when did it start? catching on. I've always been interested in cameras, but I really started getting into it when I started doing event photography for another photography business to go to parties more. And then the more I did parties and took photos at parties, the more my passion actually developed for photography. And ever since then, it's just gone up and I've just loved taking photos ever since. What do your parents think about your job? So because in Germany here, I think it's not that typical that you live at your parents' house at this age and you are. My parents love what I'm doing with my photography and making vlogs as well. They support me in anything that I do as long as I'm working really hard at it. Without their support, it would be very difficult for me to pursue what I'm doing right now. Because doing event photography on the weekends, like yeah, that's how I get paid, but it's not enough if I was living by myself. So I've said to them that I wanna be living with them until I actually pick up on YouTube and I start making some good money on YouTube. That way I can move out and keep doing YouTube videos, keep doing what I wanna do and make a living from it. If I wasn't able to have my parents' support, I'm sure that I would be able to find ways of doing YouTube. I probably just wouldn't be able to do it as often, because I put so much effort into my videos. But yes, they're very supportive and I owe a lot of my success on YouTube to them. Where's your most favorite place in the world? Probably Aspen, Colorado. I love the snow, I love the mountains, and during summer, it's just amazing. How old are you? I'm 21. What did your dad do to get an Emmy? Well, I think that dad has about three Emmy Awards. The first one, 1993 Sports Emmy Awards, Special Classification, Technical Achievement, ESPN Speed World. So it was obviously for some race car thing. Race coverage, technology, ESPN, yeah, engineer. So that would be to do with cameras. This was in 1995. He got a Technical Achievement Award ESPN Speed World, so it was the same race thing. POV cameras, ESPN, Nigel Pedersen, in-camera technician. I'm not actually too sure what these are for, but I know that dad specializes in designing cameras and digital communications. Have you got any haters? If so, how do you deal with them? Of course I have haters. Anyone that puts themselves out there is gonna get haters. Anyone in the world really has haters. You can't really go through life without someone hating on you. It's just the more that you put yourself out there, the more at risk you are of having more haters. The more haters you have, the more you know you're actually making a difference and the more you're actually becoming more successful. Because the more successful you become, you get more haters. That's just how it works. In terms of dealing with them, I just leave it. Like any messages or comments that they give me or even people that say to me in real life stuff that's just like hateful, I just don't respond. A hater just wants a reaction because they want to put other people down to make themselves feel better. You don't want to give them that luxury of making them feel better because they're trying to pull you down. It's up to you to be able to just stay up there and not let anything rock you. It's funny because I used to have an old YouTube account and I did animations on it back in the day. This was back in like 2012, 2013. I remember around that time, I got a few comments, people saying stuff that was just flat out mean, but it was just stupid. But I was so young and immature that I replied to it and I actually got pissed off. Like I got butt hurt. You don't wanna set a bad example because if you set a bad example, then other people will think badly of you, but also other people that are younger or less mature might see that and they'll be like, or like maybe I should respond to hate like this. Set a good example and just don't respond. What camera would you say is your favorite to work with? 100% this camera right here that I'm recording on right now. The Sony a7S, well, oh, Sony a7S Mark II. Now I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but basically it's got amazing low light. It's a full frame camera. It can capture an S-log, so your color grading abilities are so much better. It's just an all round amazing camera. I just love it to bits. Any camera that I've ever owned, this one just kicks it out of the park. But obviously it depends 
what camera you're looking for because every camera has its upsides and downsides. How do you find such cool locations so easily? I don't, like really, like I just drive around, look around and it's very hard to find locations. That's one of the main things that's actually really difficult. Being around here, there's so many cool locations to go to but a lot of the locations are really hidden and it's all about doing your research and even if it's not online, it's more about asking people or even just going for a drive and looking yourself. There's so many more questions that I probably will answer in another Q&A video but if you have any other questions or comments, leave it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you on either my next Q&A video or I'll just answer it as a question of the day kind of thing. But either way, I'll get back to you somehow. <laughs> also, if you guys like this video, maybe click that like button and subscribe. Just consider it, you know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again and I'll catch you guys next time.